much power in Abuja. At the state and local governments, you must insist that powers must, people must fight for power. That's what we're calling democratization. And you cannot have political restructure without economic restructure. And that's more important. And let me tell you this. Erufai said last week, we're not going to restructure. Who do us who are talking of restructuring are opportunists? But this guy, like he did in Amoya, is demolishing the houses of the poor. That is not restructuring. They are restructuring our cities to keep the masses out of the city. That's restructuring. When Fashola pick on people, 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 go to the chat, if I don't people, dump them and molest them. Kind of people, dump them in the park and park. And from stupid people were so, it's because these people are evil. I said, no. Oh, 
we are currently now, whether the Christian assembly pass it well or not. Last year, you can see this in your YouTube. You can Google now. They keep the budget last year. Fire she went on the half of assembly. Read the thing for several minutes and grabbed the government and landed it. He passed it himself. And he said, Hey, Excellency. That was how they passed the body. Oh, yes. You can see it on YouTube. So our country has become a huge joke. Now, they are talking of uh, reform. They are talking of reform. And I'm asking myself, did you overpay? London Paris Club that we are talking of reform. But that reform by now, governors of Caledon have a trillion naira. And people have still not paid their arrears of salary. So the more we make money, the more poverty we have in our country. So anybody who wants to talk of restructuring must talk of restructuring the economy first. We must redistribute the wealth of Nigeria. And I'm happy labor people are here. We have a challenge before us. And I want to thank labor and other progressive forces. That made it impossible for the Nigerian ruling class to sell the most profitable asset in Africa today, the LNG. LNG has put into the Federation, also have to the Federation account. Fifteen billion dollars in the last ten years. That money cannot be located. And this government that is fighting corruption is not interested in that. I mean, APC is actually APT now. APT. So if I make a mistake of uh, calling APC, I think it's the same way. Now, on the very serious, the manifesto of the APC. In that manifesto. APC promised to restructure Nigeria in order to realize the federalism that, according to them, our forefathers talked about. In Article 25 of that first two, APC said it was going to initiate programs that would lead to the restructuring of Nigeria so that true federalism be realized. But you know, once you get the power in Nigeria, you want to retain the status quo. Because, you know, Section 130 of the Constitution described the Nigerian president as the president, the head of state, commander in chief of the armed forces, and the chief executive officer of the republic. Just like a company. So the president governor, and you know, there is no way I can actually describe the governor, executive governor. But now, every governor is an executive, his excellency executive governor. Now, if you want restructuring, you must smash those purposes. And the last one I beg you, if you want to restructure, and Nigeria is the only country in the world, where, if you serve as a governor for four years or eight years, Nigeria is only country. You make the many law. Every state. I think it's only a dog. I don't know what happened to Adams that was uh, polite and said he needed only 200 million to build a house. No! His colleagues. You will get a house in the state where you govern. You will also get a house in Abuja where you never go. You will receive the salary of a governor for life. Even if you retire at 40 minutes or 40. You are not aware. Medical allowances in one state, you and your family, as a former governor, is 300 million naira a year. You change your cars. Your cars are replaced every two or three years. Cars for life, you will have about 10 armed policemen, and of course, you also almost automatically you now you go to the city. And when you get to the city, there are 21 of them now former governors and deputies in the Senate 
who are also collecting salary in the Senate. We all know my employees here. If you are pensioned, you cannot collect full salary. You can only be on contract. But the people in the National Assembly are collecting humongous sums of money at the end of every month. The point I'm making therefore is that now that these people are talking of instruction, let us join the debate by going for the Ajibula. I say, I like the article, we are for restructuring. But please, can we restructure the economy? By taking oil blocks, oil blocks from individuals and giving them the states and make a company. Because section 16 of the Constitution says, the commanding part of the economy shall not be privatized. The Dango days will no longer get duty waivers at the fall. Because if you and I are traders, you get duty waivers, I don't get. How will I not, how will you not become the richest person in Africa? 